If you're watching this video, odds are you don't want to lift weights because you're afraid that you'll look bulky. You're afraid that you look something like this, or this, or this. For many years now, women have been told that they should do cardio if they want to look thin. They should use light weights with mini reps if they want to get toned. In today's video, we'll dive a bit deeper into the science behind how women get bulky, what you should do to avoid this, and how you can safely incorporate weight training into your training program to not only lose weight faster, but also get the tone body you want without the risk of getting bulky. I work with hundreds of women every year to help them lose weight. And I can't even begin to explain to you how many times I've heard this before. They say, Stefan, no matter what I do, I can't lose weight. I'm on the cardio equipment for an hour a day. I'm dieting. In fact, I'm probably eating less than ever. Something is wrong. Maybe it's my thyroid. Should I get it tested? My answer to this 9 out of 10 times is let's first look at your diet and exercise routines. Because fact is, starving yourself and exercising incorrectly won't get you the results you're looking for. To understand how weight training affects fat loss and how you can avoid getting bulky, we need to address how muscle building works, how muscle affects metabolic rate, your genetic potential and how to optimally train for your performance goals. I always say the body is beautifully complex, but one thing that really isn't complex is the system by which the body puts on muscle. And we are totally in control of that. So let's first look at how women get bulky. The moment you lift a heavy enough weight, the fibers in your muscle will get strained. With enough strain, micro tears will form. This is called the acute stimulus for muscle hypertrophy. In other words, the stimulus needed for the body to start with its recovering process in the muscle by filling in the micro tear gaps. This results in the muscle becoming bigger and stronger in order to easier lift the weight the next time you need it. For this process to happen, however, a few things need to be in place. Firstly, you have to appropriately stimulate the muscle to tear. Meaning you have to push the body far beyond its comfort zone. You have to overload the muscle. The body has to think, hmm, I don't have enough muscle to lift this weight. I have to have more. The second thing that needs to be in place is appropriate nutrition. You have to be in a calorie surplus. Meaning you have to consume more food in a day than your body needs to perform basic tasks. The body will then be able to use this excess energy, let's call it available building blocks, in combination with the appropriate exercise stimulus to build more muscle. I say in combination with the right training because if you don't train for it, your body will just store this excess energy as fat. And we don't want that. Being in an energy surplus, however, doesn't mean just eating more. This means you have to eat and eat and eat until you can't eat no more and then have another plate of food. This isn't enjoyable. In essence, you have to force feed yourself. And those are just some of the sacrifices Olympic level female athletes make to be where they are and look like they do. The last thing that needs to be in place is your genetics. This in general plays the biggest role in your risk to become bulky. If you're a naturally skinny female, there's no way for you to just exercise and eat to become big and bulky. The truth is, none of those big muscular women naturally look like that. They all use or used some sort of performance enhancing drug at some point in their career. And here's why. Women on average have 90% less testosterone than men. And testosterone is the primary driving hormone behind muscle mass. So no matter how hard you exercise or how much you eat, odds are weightlifting will never make you bulky. There is, however, a small part of the female population who does have a risk of becoming bulky if they do weight training. These are the women who naturally have higher testosterone levels. You will know whether you're one of these women by listening to your voice. Is it deeper than the general female voice? Looking at your jaw, is it more pronounced than the average female's jaw? And looking at your frame, is it stronger and stockier? more muscular than that of others around you. If this is you and you have noticed that you easily gain muscle, then you should consider HIIT training over weight training as it has a lower load on your muscle fibers. And you should pay close attention to your nutrition. You shouldn't be in a calorie surplus and you should stay away from too much carb intake. Weight training for females can be extremely beneficial though and you should definitely incorporate it into your training sessions at least two to three times a week. 
Weight training will help you increase your bone density, which, as we all know, osteoporosis, also known as brittle bone condition, is a big risk for the general female population. The reason weight training helps with this is because when you lift a heavy weight, the muscle pull on the tendon to move the joint. This pull stimulates the muscle insertion and even sometimes slightly bends the bone. And this is exactly what's needed for bone growth stimulation. Without resistance training or impact training, your bone health will rapidly decrease to the point where you are at major risk for unprovoked bone breaking. Perhaps the most beneficial part of resistance training for females is the increase in metabolic rate. This happens because as you train more, your muscles develop and increase in density. Not necessarily size, but you become more toned. Increase in muscle development causes an increase in daily energy use. Think of it this way, if you have a stronger car engine, it will use more fuel. Thus, you lose weight faster and you get to eat more. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. At the end of the day, I think what is most important to remember is that lifting weights, doing squats and push-ups will never make you bulky as a female. Odds are you simply don't have the genetic potential and the needed testosterone levels to get there. So if you want to be strong, self-sufficient, look toned and have the added benefit of losing weight faster or being able to eat more, then you should definitely do some weight training. But that's just my opinion. I mean, what do I know? I only have my degree in biokinetics and help people lose weight for a living. This naturally skinny girl on social media probably knows more, right? Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value from it. I looked at my stats the other day and saw that more than 70% of you guys that watch this video aren't subscribed. That's not cool. <laughs> Anyways, click on the subscribe button below, please. And I'll see you in the next one. I post videos just like this one on here on YouTube every Monday. Don't miss out on them. Okay. Cheers.